Yeah, it's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Well, Ed Sheeran, uh, donkey of the day for Tuesday, September 17th, goes to a former NFL player named Edon Lewis Kaufman. Now, Edon is a business owner. He owns a spot called Create and Bake Pizza in Kaufman's Creamery. Uh, a caller reported that someone was inside his restaurant damaging his business. He someone broke inside the restaurant with a crowbar and spray painted with a black spray uh, can all over the walls, uh, black spray paint all over the walls, a bunch of racially motivated words and swastikas and the word MAGA everywhere. All right. Several booth cushions were sliced open, broken mirrors, cut wires and a damaged video surveillance system. The smell of fresh spray paint filled the air. In fact, police say it was very fresh. When officers touched it, the paint still appeared wet. Well, thank God there was a witness, and the witness saw a black car with no license plate fleeing the scene, and he gave police all the details. Uh, Are you following me? Let's pay attention to the clues, people. Black, fresh spray paint on the walls. Crowbar was the tool to break in. Suspect was seen in a black car with no license plate for damaging, creating baked pizza in Kaufman's Creamery. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, why is the owner... E. Don getting donkey of the day. Somebody breaks into his business, vandalizes it, and the owner of the business gets donkey of the day? Why, Charlemagne? Well, let's go to CNN for the report, please. Police showed up to the Create and Bake Pizzeria and the adjoining Coffin's Creamery. They thought there was a robbery in progress. The two restaurants were trashed inside. Racial slurs were spray painted on the walls, including the N-word, the word monkey, swastikas, and MAGA. Officers tracked down the business owner, 31-year-old Edon Kaufman, a former NFL player. He was sitting in his truck with a hoodie and gloves on. He said that uh, he was the victim of a burglary that occurred earlier in the day and that he was just coming back to the business to retrieve those items. Police say Kaufman hadn't called police. Instead, he'd called his insurance company about the alleged burglary. The license plate was inside the truck. It also revealed the fact that there were two cans of spray paint and also a yellow crowbar. The yellow crowbar is important because the back of the business had some yellow pry marks on the back door. Kaufman told police the vandalism happened earlier in the day, but the smell of fresh paint told a different story. If the burglary and the vandalism had occurred earlier in the day, like he told us, that paint would not still be wet. Police say the entire hate crime and burglary was fake. Edon Kaufman has clearly been studying the Book of Smollett. Uh, I will never understand minorities who stage hate crimes as if uh, it's not a lot of those going around already. People who are actual victims of hate crimes are traumatized. They don't want that trauma. We don't want to feel oppressed and marginalized. But for whatever reason, hate hoaxes has been a play that has been ran a couple of times this year. Now, Don is out on bond, but his attorney says he is presumed innocent like anyone else who is accused of a crime. Don't prejudge him without knowing all the facts. His attorney is absolutely correct. But... We have to learn from other people's mistakes, and I can't believe Edan didn't learn from Jesse Smule. All right, things like this simply don't work, and they especially don't work when you get caught with all the tools you use to break in to your own establishment, okay? And several TVs in the back of your truck, some of which were still attached to the brackets with damaged drywall still on them. And driving the same car that the witness saw with no license plate like Edan. Come on, guy. He's been charged with false report of a crime, insurance fraud, and concealing a license plate. I'm going to write me a children's story called The Boy Who Cried MAGA. It will be an updated version of The Boy Who Cried Wolf. People always, you know, talk about that story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. But we always forget, you know, when it comes to these, comes to that story, nobody cared. And all his sheep died. And he, Don Kaufman, you're in that category right now. So go over there and sit by Mr. Smollett and shut the F up forever. Please give you Don Kaufman the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. He wrote all the basic racial slurs, too. Mm -hmm. The N-word, monkey, then MAGA. What if you're a black person that supports Trump? There are plenty of those. So you're like a MAGA-loving monkey. That's good. Somebody needs to use that one. Right. All right. You don't think so? No. MAGA monkey. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.